Hi everyone, the OnePlus with Snapdragon 8 Plus model finally came out, and it belongs to the A series in China, and is named Ace Pro, the configuration and price were quite good, and even the first batch was quickly sold out, I didn't pay attention to it, as soon as the second batch arrives, I will start it right away, and I will share with you an unpacking and brief test first, as a model with a higher position than the OnePlus Ace, the OnePlus Ace Pro must also have super flash charging in terms of charging, the unique longevity version 150 watt super flash charging, it can be seen that the official charging head supports quite a lot of protocols and power combinations, and it is also very comfortable to use it for other purposes, let's take a look at the phone, this time, it is different from the OnePlus 10 Pro, the first two colors Hessian and Kingu have high-end versions, 16 and 512 gigs, and 16 gigs of running memory, has caused a lot of discussion before, would you consider 16 gigs, if the price is right, in terms of camera lineup, the main camera uses a 50 megapixel Sony IMX 766, which supports optical image stabilization, this main camera has been widely used in mainstream flagship phones for a period of time, and has been well received, the 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and 2 megapixel separate macro camera are also very useful, on the right side is the power button, there is no physical mute switch, it seems that the OnePlus A series will not be equipped with a mute switch, on the left is the volume key, and the overall layout is very similar to that of the OnePlus 10 Pro, the dual microphone appearance helps improve call quality, and effectively reduce noise, the bottom is developed with a card slot, Type-C interface and speakers, the front camera is opened in the middle, and it is basically the corner of the middle anyway, and it is the same wherever it is placed, 16 megapixels is also the current mainstream configuration, in terms of screen, the 6.7 inch OLED flexible straight screen with 24 12 by 1080 pixels, supports 120 hertz screen refresh rate, which is very practical for gaming parties, leaving the cost and performance overhead of screen resolution for a smoother frame rate and operating experience, the sampling rate of OnePlus Ace Pro is as high as 720 Hz, and the sampling rate of instant touch in games reaches 1000 Hz, making it very easy to play games, another point that is often overlooked is that a large part of the camera effect of phones, is actually blessed by software and algorithms, and this part has great demands on the performance of phones, OnePlus Ace Pro, as the first flagship of Snapdragon 8 Plus, has great advantages in this respect, an LPDDR5 and UFS 3.1 is already the top configuration, in addition, the minimum configuration of this phone is also 12 and 256 gigs, and some competing products at the same price are still hovering at 8 and 128 gigs, at present, OnePlus Ace Pro has a very high cost performance, and the configuration of Snapdragon 8 Plus, LPDDR5, UFS 3.1 16 and 512 gigs is the strongest solution on the market in terms of hardware configuration. At present, the product line of OnePlus is quite complete. The Ace Racing version that pursues extreme game cost effectiveness can choose Ace for the direct screen super cost effective solution. In terms of performance and configuration ceiling, Ace Pro is well deserved, while for wireless charging, video output, Higher OnePlus 10 Pro is also very suitable for those who need photos and screens of specifications. I have been busy recently, and I will try to share with you more about the experience of using several phones. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.